Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. We begin with the very latest on the coronavirus outbreak. The death toll in the United States is now up to 26, and 700 people across the country are sick with COVID-19, and that includes two people right here in Connecticut. A second patient tested positive for the virus yesterday and is now being treated at Bridgeport Hospital. State leaders say they're doing everything that they can to contain the outbreak. Today, Hartford HealthCare is outlining its plan with healthcare leaders. And in response to the coronavirus, the governor is canceling all out-of-state travel for state employees and recommending private employers do the same. Meanwhile, the legislative office building in Hartford will be closed Thursday through Sunday for a deep cleaning. Many school districts are taking some similar precautions. In Wallingford, field trips are being canceled and school events that would attract large crowds have been postponed. Cromwell schools will have a half day on Thursday, so teachers there can prepare lessons that would be taught remotely if schools had to close. And school bus companies like M&J Bus and Datco say they're sanitizing buses several times a day. A Plainfield man, Plainville man that is, is under arrest, accused of producing child pornography. Police say 49-year-old Kyle Fassold was taken into custody on Friday after investigators found a cell phone with videos and pictures of young girls changing in a locker room. Fassold is due in court today, and if he's convicted, he could face up to 30 years in prison. All right. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Uh, we're taking a look at the satellite and radar. Uh, we do have some showers racing in from the west, so grab the umbrella, carry it with you. Rather to be safe than sorry, some of these showers are going to be with us. They'll become a little bit more prevalent later this afternoon through this evening. As you can see, it's a pretty well organized system, but as it approaches Connecticut, it is expected to fall apart. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But there is rain in our forecast for today, so not quite as nice as yesterday. Early morning future cast tomorrow's weather today shows us an increase in clouds, and then here come those showers anytime after 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. Daytime highs today climb into the uh, mid 60s, upper 50s for the shoreline. And then tomorrow and Thursday, beautiful. Friday, more rain is expected, and then much cooler for the upcoming weekend. I'm meteorologist Scott Haney. Have a great day, everyone. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.